All right, Thomas. So people have been looking at stem cells as the next greatest thing in the evolution of medicine for like 20 plus years now. But I think yeah, it's yeah. important for you to iterate for people and to myself, why people should be looking at it right now. Why were the biggest evolutions happening today? Sure. Well, I think it's in a, you can see our results, you know, in 20 randomized patients, 10 that got ACP, no deaths, seven of 10 limbs saved from amputation in the placebo group, uh, 10 treated with placebo, two deaths, six of eight limbs lost to amputation. Uh, you know, that, that is a indicative of uh, stem cells being able to treat, especially autologous stem cells, being able to treat uh, diseases that are currently just medicated or are dealt with on a surgical basis. Wonderful. So from there, tell me some parallels you think. Talk about, for instance, our, our journeys into space and our goal to get to Mars and how this kind of connects to it and how it's always been a long journey, but we're finally there. Yeah, I mean, I think that's a really good analogy. You know, it took Elon Musk to come along and say rockets can be reusable. Uh, we should go to we should go to Mars, uh, you know, just to uh, save to indemnify humanity against extinction. Uh, you know, stem cell therapy has it's had a long growth uh, phase, but it's being proven scientifically that you can, uh, you know, treat the, the heart and actually rebuild heart function, as we've seen in our in our studies. Uh, you're actually getting a whole uh, new lease on life. And uh, Roger Burgess is a perfect example. 14 years of additional love, family, uh, you know, grandchildren. When he was given six months to live, uh, six months before his uh, his stem cell treatment. Wonderful.